ladies and gentlemen. It's what you've been waiting for. I am using a root stout method. This was the first year uh, of planting here something, so it was just a regular pasture like this at the, at the, before beginning of the spring this year. So I uh, plow it and uh, till it, but then I cover it with a, with a hay most of the of, of the garden. Not not deep as this. I am I am doing now. I'm preparing it for uh, for next season already. So it was not not such. Big amount of hay and uh, and straw, but but it is working perfect. So I wanted to show you the last thing, special spe speciality we grow it uh, this uh, this year here on our farm, and this is actually first year, so uh, it is okra. You can see, normally they they grow it in. Uh, in a greenhouse, they say that it, it will grow only in greenhouse, and we are uh, northern climate, Europe, you know, European climate, and it grows outside amazingly, amazing. You see this? I'm saving them from seeds, you know. I didn't want to eat it at all. It will be just for one lunch for me. But I eat a lot <laughs> vegetable. <laughs> no meat, no meat, no eggs. <laughs> just veg. <laughs> See nice, eh? it is already in some mold. I have to pick it and see if there are some if there are some seeds. Okay. Look inside. Yeah, we have many seeds. Okay. I'll take it with me to home. Very nice, a lot of seeds there. Yeah yeah, we will plant it a lot. Beautiful plant. Very tasty, very nice. There are actually two types I think so. One is a pinkish, purple, purple, and one is a green. This one do doesn't have this, you know, so many these strings like this one. See, this is more. What is more skin? Oh, okay, this is here soya. So, and you see how the how the land is dry here. See, see how it's dry. So I will be ready very soon, just a few days, it will dry out and we will pick it up, pick up, pick up it. <laughs> okay, so here is the mulch. And look at it. You see, it's nice, wet, when I take it, it's, it's nice and soft. Nice. I just I have to I have to do this constantly when I am <laughs> now I not feel because you see there is a worm. Do you see him? Ah! There's so many worms in this in, in this under the hay. It's amazing. Yes. And then here is no lot of hay in this part. So a lot of hay was where cucumbers were. So maybe, maybe here, and then there was some, there was some tomato growing here, I guess, I don't know, plant it here, it's just growing from the compost. Okay, so look at it here. So you see the worm, he's there, the guy is there, I didn't want to hurt them, so, okay, but it's full of the worm. And here are our Brussels sprouts. Uh, they survive the fly beetle attack. They're still small, and I hope they will grow bigger now when we'll be a little colder. This is, you know, some too much. This is too much, too soft to leave. Even know, maybe I can harvest it and cook it. I don't know. Let's see here. So I can show you this. This is interesting. Uh, so this, this, this is about, oh, sorry for that, <laughs> these Brussels sprouts, I cover with the hay. 
I transplant them from there to here. They grow nicely. And still there is no big fruit, but something. The soil is compacted still. Well, this is the first thing. So, okay. So, look at it. See? I hope you can see it. Because I'm using this camera and sometimes I didn't catch it everything. Yeah? Okay, so it is. Here are sweet potatoes. Uh, not extra big, but nice. I should take them in. Now they will be sweet, like honey. Okay, see? See the difference? See it? See there and here? Of course, you know, they are not covered with the hay, so... And these are even smaller, you know? And this, this guy is big, okay. This guy is big. But otherwise... Not much. And actually, it looks wild, but everything is something. See, here is some celeriac. See, this big, big celeriac, nice one. Yeah, Pasternak. I think so, it's Pasternak. <laughs> and kale, a lot of kale. Survives also flies people. Still plenty food here. And a chufa grass or tiger nuts. Oh, very nice. Oh, nice tiger nuts. I have to harvest them also, they are, they are quite ready. Yeah, so what to say? Uh, I will show you more worms, okay? Because <laughs> I think the... I was trying to show you for the first time, I didn't film it well. Okay, so here... Here is a lot of... Here is not a lot, but quite... Ah, this, is, this is compact, this is interesting. Okay, so look at here. We will take some... Some earth, wow, it's very nice, very wet, you see? Beautiful worm. Amazingly beautiful. You see it? So many worms and... Can you see it? You see? We will put back this guy. It's just, it's great. This, this is great. It's so nice. That's tomato, you don't have to pick them, but there's so many, it just have no space for it. And when visitors come, I told them, you know, take it home and... Well, these people are stupid, you know. Huh. What, what to say? They are rather buy in the shop. I don't know. And here is the melon I was showing you. This nice melon. There are still some melon, some water squash. And here is some, still some beans, you know. I don't know if they will ripen fully. It was already frozen, but only from the top. Still survive. This is akchochka, akchochka. I also have to harvest it. And this is a preparation for next year. I will, here I will plant uh, squashes and fruit bushes and trees. And squashes will go, grow around them. You see, so I in the, the summer I put here these uh, small hills of, uh, of hay. I put a compost in the middle and planted some squashes there. So I was transplanting them. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't grow well. 
uh, it was dry summer. I didn't put any water in it, and you know, just you, know, you, can, you can see maybe now they are dry out all, all of them. But but these things take time, and now you can see all grass under it. It has died. So and the earth is still is still hard. It is hard like like stone. <laughs> But that plan is to put more compost. <laughs>